Hey YouTube land again, this is Ryan again, coming at you with another guitar review comparison. Uh, about a week ago, I went up to Sweetwater, got a Yamaha LL16D um, in black, and some strings, and a Chris Thiele Diadario uh, case and pick, which when I looked at the receipt, I was surprised it was more expensive than I thought. It was twenty six dollars. So I'm going to compare my blue chip pick, my Tad Fifty, and that Chris Thiele case and pick. Um, it's a one point four millimeter, and then I'm going to compare the LL sixteen D that I just got. To my Martin D28 reimagined that I've had for probably about eight months. All right, so here we go. First, I'm going to start off with the blue chip Tad 50 pick in the LL16D. I just um, Tune both of the both of the guitars up, sorry, and uh, yeah, so I'll give it some strums and we'll uh, see what this one sounds like. This LL16D uh, really rings out nicely, and I think it's got a nice tone. Oh, by the way, um, the guitar was $1,125 in comparison to the 3000 I spent on the Martin, and now the D28s are going for $3,200. All right, here's the case and pick. Noticed on the two picks, um, I'm actually easy. It's easier for me to do single note lines. <laughs> two guitars at the end of the video. A lot of people don't give an opinion about, you know, various things. Come on, get into the stand here. Move on to the, to the Martin. Oh, darn it. There we go. Start off with the case and pick. So the D28 Reimagined, one thing I will say about this, opposed to the Yamaha, it is considerably lighter.
what you think, but that sounds like a Martin D28 to me. Oh, drop the pit. Diodario, uh, I'm sorry, uh, blue, uh, the, the blue chip Tad 50. Martin D28, reimagined. Yamaha LL16D. Okie dokie. Time for an evaluation of the two. Uh, what I think. The Yamaha plays really easy. Uh, I don't know why. I think the action might be a little bit lower. Um, value wise, of course, the Yamaha is a much better value than the than the D28. Um, I like the wood binding on it. It's got binding on the neck. That's not wood. That's, um, you know, plastic or ivoroid. Uh, another thing about the Yamaha, it's got a really nice tall saddle on it. So they got the neck angle really good on this. You know, you're getting the poly finish on this one. This isn't a Japanese-made one, so it's a China one, so you're getting the poly. And that's probably what makes it heavier. But it still has got a nice sound, and it rings really good. The D28, um... They don't sound exactly alike to me. I mean, they're both rosewood. This has an Engelman top, this has a Sitka top. Um... The Sitka top on this is very beautiful. You probably won't be able to see it, but there's a lot of silking in it. Um, it's nice looking rosewood. I like the marquetry back strip, even though this has the abalone. I mean, this has a, a simplistic beauty to it. Um, both the tuners function about the same. This in my opinion, the D28, I mean, it sounds like a Martin guitar. It is a Martin guitar. The saddle on it, it's good. It's got a decent height. I've seen worse. Um, I noticed after owning it for a couple of months that the saddle on my other Martin, my cheaper Martin, my Carpathian Spruce, uh, Blackwood Martin, with the simple dovetail joint is a bigger saddle. It also, that guitar has higher action. This has better action. Um, so, 
I guess it just depends on what you want. Maybe you want both. Maybe you want the plain version of this one. Maybe you want an HG28 instead of a D28. Uh, I'm not big on scallop brace guitars. I think they got a lot of boom, but I think with a flat pick, they lack a little when it comes to the higher end. They sound more plinky to me. That's just my opinion. Uh, a lot of people would argue that. Um, so I guess that kind of sums up these two guitars. They're, uh, they're both wonderful instruments, and I plan on keeping both of them, so, all right, thanks.